Welcome back to Thruxton at round seven of the Bennett's British Superbike Championship. And we're starting with third place in the bike social sprint race for Lamy OMG Racing Yamaha, Ryan Vickers. Ryan, you had a great qualifying earlier and that was an intense race. We saw the battle go right down to the end and it was very, very close between you and Max across the line. Talk us through it because that last lap became pretty all out fighting. Yeah, it's awesome, you know, to be honest, Fair play to the guys, Charlie and, and Lee Bob and Max and that. They rode an amazing race. I honestly didn't think they'd be there that long on in the race. So just simply taking off of what we've seen in the past and stuff like that. But they were running a great pace. The pace wasn't slow. Um, was running a great pace. So fair play to everybody out there. And we managed to have pretty clean race in the whole race. You know, there's a couple of bumps, but not many considering how close we were. Um, and the strength of other bikes and stuff like that. It's, um, it's very hard not to. Um, but yeah, so happy to take P3, come down to the last lap, last corner, I was, yeah, I know I was in second place and I just felt my bike just get sucked back and I was like, oh no. And, and normally I see one wheel, but this time I see two and then three wheels and I was like, oh no, like, <laughs> I'm going to lose it. And then um, luckily I was strong on the brakes, uh, went up the inside of Lee Bob and uh, managed to hold the other guys behind. I was in hot, made a clean move on Lee Bob on the last, into the last chicane and then I was, uh, a little bit slow through the left, uh, just to get the bike stopped, and that compensated my exit onto the start finish straight. Um, but yeah, managed to uh, managed to get the drag on on Max and Lee Bob to the line, and Charlie pipped me. But it's um, yeah, amazing race, awesome, awesome to keep it on the podium, and yeah, we'll keep this run of form through the weekend. And obviously, the race is tomorrow, slightly longer duration. How did you find the tire towards the end of that one being shorter? Yeah, it was the tire was the tire was pretty worn, but. I had to work hard in that race. I actually made it a little bit harder than what I wanted to. You know, Jason, I think he had a little bit more tyre at the end, but I don't think a lot. I think if someone was pushing him, he would have been in a similar place to, to us. Um, but he just led the race. I think it was only one lap that he didn't or so. Um, so, yeah, he, he made the race a lot easier on his tyres, and I think I need to try to take a bit more of that approach tomorrow, try to get away. I was sort of sat in behind Kano at the car at the start of the race, and that was sort of our plan, whoever was in front of us, just to sit behind and, and try to drift away. But the tactics changed because then somebody else come past me and then somebody else, and I was like, oh, my God, there's a train of people here, you know? Yeah, because so, at one point you did drop quite back far in the group, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly, and, and it, we planned it before the race, and we just didn't plan for that, you know? Maybe one person, two people behind me, but not four, you know? And so it really changed the tactic, and I think the next race... Um, I definitely had more pace than the guys in front of me. I just um, need to make my move a little bit earlier. I didn't get a great start, so um, I think uh, tomorrow we've got to change the tactics up a little bit, and, um, yeah, I think we'll be in for a great race. Thank you, Ryan. Cheers. And a first podium finish in the Bennett's British Superbike for Master Mac Honda by Hawk Racing. It's Charlie Nesbitt. Charlie, you're in that league group fighting throughout the whole race. It was a great battle and you managed to move into second on the final lap. Talk us through it and how does it feel to be in, scoring a podium in your first season? Oh, it feels unreal, to be honest. I think I want it to be fighting towards the front, maybe towards the end of the season. But, you know, I think this being my home circuit and it being quite special to me, I think it's just brought out another little bit. Um, but, yeah, no, I absolutely love the race. You know, coming on the last lap, I didn't know where I was going to be. I was in third, but I didn't know whether I was going to be sixth or, or whatever coming into the last chicane, you know. Um, Lee Bob and Vickers and Ryan, they sort of, uh, yeah, Ryan went up the inside and sort of, they both went a little bit wide and then they had a bit of a, they, they parked it a little bit in the uh, in the middle of the chicane and I managed to get the cut back on them. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm over the moon. And reflecting on the weekend so far. You've obviously been building momentum. We've got two longer races tomorrow. We, we've traditionally seen this being a Yamaha circuit. How did you find it with the Honda? The bike was unreal, like I say. It's, um, it was taking care of the tyre really, really well, you know, and I think if we make a few more little changes tomorrow just to get it to maybe turn a little bit better, but um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy and I think we can be in a good position um, for the longer races, that's for sure. And you start from the Omologato pole position for tomorrow, so it'll be your first front row start or yeah. pole position. How much are you looking forward to that? Oh, I can't wait. You know, it's going to be uh, nerve-wracking, but I think I'll be uh, having a laugh on the grid, as I always do, and, yeah, taking it in my stride, hopefully. <laughs> Congratulations, Charlie. Thank you very much. And our first race winner of the Thruxton weekend here for Macam Yamaha, Jason O'Halloran. Jason, your second win of the season, but it's always tough here at Thruxton, but that was almost a masterclass. Talk us through it. 
Yeah, thanks. Um, uh, I knew from yesterday we had good speed. Uh, spent uh, both the free practice sessions doing uh, longer sort of runs. Didn't really focus on the lap time too much, uh, but sort of just figured out what pace I could do. Uh, pace was a little bit faster in that race, to be fair, a bit faster than what I wanted it to be. But um, <laughs> it was. Uh, I could see the the gap behind was staying consistent, uh, but I didn't really know whether they were all in to stay with me or whether I was just controlling it um, and they were using a bit more tire than me. So. I let Lee come by uh, in the middle part of the race just to see what the, the pace was actually like and uh, I was happy to go back to the front. So I did that, uh, managed, managed the tyre well. Um, uh, the McCam Jamar team done a great job this weekend. Bike's been fantastic. Uh, really enjoyed just being out the front doing my own thing. Uh, I think I start a little bit further back tomorrow so we'll have to do a bit of passing in the first part of the race. Um, but yeah, I'm confident for the, for the 20 lappers and hopefully we can get a couple more wins. Thank you. Cheers guys.